Peep on it, get What's it. Hey, on, guys? We don't get them situated this trip. <laughs> How y'all doing? We, we figured we'd come back out here and support the Winter Whisker guys and uh, see what we can do on this river. This, this river hates me, but uh, we've got conditions that I like. Um, we've got a lot of rain moving in today. We've got a cold front tomorrow hitting. It's going to be sunny on tournament day. Temperature's going to be up a little bit. I think the fish are going to be shallow. So that's what we're putting all of our eggs in the basket on. We've got one creek arm that looks really promising. It's got 30 foot and all, at the front of it and in the back of it, it's it's real shallow with a bunch of timber. So that's what we're going to be targeting. But we're out here trying to catch the jack. We've done got about 70 of them. It's been a tough day. Got a few in there. That cooler's slapped full already. But catching skipjack in the rain in February, water temp and the discharge up here is 54 degrees. Uh, main water temp's like 47, so it's seven degrees warmer up here. Three fish. I missed one, but it is cold. Cold is an understatement. <laughs> The snaps on the bimini were frozen. Couldn't even get it on. The uh, trim switch for the jack plate is frozen. You couldn't put the jack plate down. It's a little cold out here. I think it's still uh, still below freezing. It's about six degrees warmer back here. It's all muddy. Greg, what do you got? That old blue. Let me see him, Greg. On that blood red series. He Man. is fatter than fat gets, son. They've been feeding. We haven't been out here two minutes. <laughs> we literally just got all the rods out and caught them, so. It's a good one. It's probably 15. All right, we're going to let him go and see if. We're going we're gonna to see if it was a one-hit wonder. If we're going to catch one more, we're going to get out of here. It's all clear water. This is actually the ramp we put in at, but it's muddy, just slap mud. There's a creek way up here that dumps in. It's got water pouring out. You actually see Greg struggling over there. Fish right there. 
Another solid, chunky fish, guys. Uh, I think we got a good good idea on what they're doing. So, that's Greg's fish. We'll go ahead and let him go, though. Guys, we're going to reel them up. We're going to get out of here. There ain't no sense in trying to catch any more of these fish. We'll see y'all in the morning. since yesterday is the water is not as muddy it's still warmer back here it was 44.9 on the main channel so got a bunch of thread fins probably some gizzards white bass stuff like that down on the bottom but we're just going to get in here and scan back there's where we caught those fish yesterday uh, there's a marina if you can see all that rock right there, right there, there's a marina around that point. That's where we caught those fish yesterday. So we're going to work our way back in there and see what we see on the way. We got about an hour till we can fish. So we're just going to keep scanning and looking. I'm going to put a waypoint in this vicinity. That mud line that's back here, as soon as we get in it, it's probably gonna be warmer back there. And it's definitely gonna heat up faster. And there ain't a cloud in the sky, Bobby! Go find them. Go try to catch them. There you go, Joe. That, those might be gar. Maybe striper. I did stop moving though, but it does have an auto scan feature so that it changes the chart speed as the boat oh, it goes off GPS. But before we get started, guys, put God in everything you do. God's the one that put us here. God's got a plan for us. So give praise to God. We're going to say a quick prayer before it's time to start. And then before we get too far. Great. Dear Lord, we thank you for giving us this opportunity. We thank you for blessing us with this fun trip up here and the camaraderie between us and all the other anglers. We ask you to keep your hand over everybody today, make sure everybody's safe, and make sure everybody gets home to their families. And most of all, Lord, make sure everything we do is for you. And if you see it fit, let us put some piggies in the boat. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. shouldn't be in the video when we start fishing. We went ahead and baited it up. Um, we've scanned the snot out of all this. There's fish scattered everywhere. So we're just gonna start dragging. We had another boat literally just follow us around in here and look at everything we were scanning at. And we pushed back out to deeper water, spot locked, and acted like we're gonna go this way. They literally pulled right in front of us. So they're spot locked about a hundred yards right in front of us. And they think that's the way we're dragging. They don't know we're going that way. So the joys of fishing tournaments.
That's crazy too because that's the longest leader I had. I didn't think that one was going to get big. Going over one right now. Fish number two. That old long line did it again, boys. They're trying to get planer boards out, can't even get them out.
guys. A little 33 inch 15 6, the other one's 16. Boats in three foot of water. I'll show you guys after we get them in. of water guys Ooh. there's timbers and all kinds of the mud line is right here next to us there's timbers and all kinds of stuff right here and he just smoked it thank you lord thank you thank you it is 2 30. i gotta move this a little bit because there is stumps and stuff sticking up everywhere there's another fish right to the left of us thank you lord Lap covered in mud. Miles home. Two point six foot. Sun. Ain't nothing we can really see on side imaging where you're dragging. should have roughly 70, 71 pounds, I think. So last year it took 80 to win, and I think second place was like 50 pounds. So, don't know. Don't know until we get there and put them on the scales. But we'll catch you at the, at the weigh-in, guys. Top point all day. 
Cool. 